Welcome everyone, this is RP Jimmy and we will begin just shortly. Sorry we're running a little behind here. Once again, everyone, just want to bear with me here. I will be on here in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is RP Jimmy, and I will be starting in roughly two minutes. All right, everyone, welcome. This is RP Jimmy. I don't think the... I, I was just talking for a little bit, and I don't think any of it was caught. That's okay, because I think I realized it now. It's a new era for me. A new start. As you can see, now I have a VTuber thing. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to this. In fact, I almost feel like I have to cal calibrate it again, but... Let's, let's do a test. Head up, head down, left, right. All right, it's not terrible. Uh, so yeah, I was a little late. 
a lot of things have been going on in my life. Not great things either, unfortunately. And that, But one thing that is positive is this is going on. That's right, we're doing Mass Effect. And this is going to be a marathon. And when I... Look, I'm an older streamer. What do I consider a marathon for me? I don't know. <laughs> really, oh, anything. Most things over two hours, but... In all seriousness, probably at least three or four hours. Uh, so the way I'm working my schedule now for the future is there's going to be a regular game, a main game that that I'll do a bunch of a, a big stream on on the weekends. Then there's going to be the short games. I'm going to find one day a week to actually commit to and always play like one or two hours of that game on a weekly basis. The third thing is what you're looking at right here, Mass Effect. Uh, it's going to be a once a month marathon game and yeah, it's kind of going to be where new followers can come in and you can go ahead and decide uh, or, or how do I say this? Decide what order things go in for this game. You're gonna, if there's no, if, if someone's there, like let's say a new follower popped in right now and the first thing was, do you wanna save such and such or such and such? That new follower will be able to dictate which one I choose. So, uh, a couple of rules in regards to this. You cannot carry things over to the next stream. This is a once a month stream. So this is gonna take care of May's one, May's stream. And then the next time I'm gonna do a marathon of this, is in June. Date to be determined, which by the way, it's official that now I have changed my Instagram name to official RP Jimmy. So you can always check on that in regards to when the new um the, the next mega stream that you'll be able to dictate the that you'll be able to dictate the, the way it goes will be. So, with that in mind, let me just say real quick that um, I want to, there's a lot of people I have to thank for this, mostly my friend Josiah, for these graphics and whatnot, and, and learning about the VTuber stuff, I want to thank, you know, there's a couple people out there, a bunch of people that, that helped me get to this point. Um, I mentioned that there's going to be some announcements uh, and specifically let me tell you what what's on deck here so at 1 p.m in about an hour i'm going to announce the next pop-in series or not not that i'm not going to announce the game but i am going to announce the the uh, the plan for the pop-in series then at 2 p.m the announcement for wwe backlash wrestle quest show with bill then at 3 p.m. I will announce the weekend game that we're going to play. And I'm very excited about this. Um, so yeah, so Mass Effect is only this time. And then the next time will be sometime in June. It's a once a month game. Once a month game. So. Alright, let's start doing this here. I, I'm sorry if, it, if I'm a little delayed here. I just, I got to get used to everything. And one of those things include... There we go. I just had to fix something on my end. So yeah, here we go. Mass Effect. It's been a long time since I played this game. So yeah, I also want to, let me get on board when it comes to uh, start a new career, I guess. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Oh wait, I just remembered I what my... 
usual character's name, or what my character's name for this in the past was. Jack. Like, lost. Jack Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. All right, I gotta remember all of this. Let's see. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Eh. You were born and raised in Mindor, a small border colony at the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Maybe. You were born an orphan, raised on the streets of the great mega megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting within the Alliance military when you turned 18. I'm going to go a colonist. Everyone in my life was destroyed. And now I, gain, I, I, I go for revenge. Now, this is a great example. If there were a new follower at this point, I would tell them, hey, which one do you think I should be? However, if there is no new follower, we will go with my choice, which is colonist. Confirm psychological profile. Oh, let's see. Upon your During your service, a mission you were, you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone, left to tell the tale. Maybe. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Not ruthless. We're not doing ruthless. Again, if there was a new follower, they would be the one that picked this. Maybe War Hero. Yeah, we're gonna do War Hero. Military specialization. So, oh, I forgot. I choose the class. Soldier specializes in front line. Okay, specialist ideal for the front lines. I'm a firefight. Soldiers have improved health. Can specialize in the use of all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear medium armor and can train in the use of heavy armor. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic Omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. No, we're not doing engineer. Adept are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects shield the squad and disable or destroy enemies adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols possibly an adept infiltrator infiltrators combine combat and thank you uh ross uh hope you're well i'll be on for a while hey do you want to <laughs> You know, you're an existing follower. Out of curiosity, do you want to make a choice here? Oh, you know, maybe I should move the... Uh, again, everyone, totally in a new situation here. I want to move this chat box now that I know that that's what's going on. Uh, 
hold on. Again, all new things, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where to put this now. And I'll put it up here for now and I'll see how I feel about it later. Or maybe I'll take it off. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. By the way, just so you know, um, that even if you are a previous follower, you can be involved in the choice making abilities. But again, this is only for one per stream. Anyway, let's finish up Infiltrator. Let me write to Ross saying, hope you are having a good day. Just to test the chat box again here. Ross, if you're there, how is the sound, how is it sounding? Because I haven't really had anyone here to check on that. Uh, infiltra uh, infiltrators combine and combat, uh, combine combat, at, what? Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained uh, to use Omni tools, focusing on description and offensive abilities rather than... Oh, we're, I don't want to be an Infiltrator. I'll tell you that right now. I, I need a healing ability. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities... It's pretty low. I mean, it's just, um, you know, I will, I will hire it a bit and I'll see if it makes a difference. Hold on there, Ross. Because it's a very, very low beat because of the fact that I'm just making a character. Let me know if you could hear that and if that, again, it's more like a whirring sound, like Let me write him again. I mean, yeah, it's going to be weird because it's going to be, once I actually start playing the game, the sound's going to go up significantly. All right, I'll just wait. Like I said, if you, you're welcome to come back later. I don't know where you, I guess you're working, um, I assume. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. And finally, vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and gunshots and wear medium armor. All right, well, since we're going to, I think I'm going to go with Adept. I'm going to ask Ross how everything is going so far. Just to keep some conversation here. And again, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm in love where the chat box is now, but I don't know. I could play around with it. I'm going to go with Adept. Confirm facial identification. Change appearance. I'm going to try to have him look like my my guy here on the bottom right. Although I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. All right, let's start with hair. This is kind of like how it looks, right? Okay. Beard, nah. I don't. Not really. I'm not. I don't really have a beard right now. Brow. Uh. Russ, help me make my person here. I want to try to make it look like the VTuber. Hair color, obviously black. I don't know, but kind of. I guess that's okay. Hair facial color?
facial structure, skin tone. My guy's like, I don't know, kind of like this, right? Complexion. Uh, uh, I know the bit, but can you shrink the whole game feed and open up the border for the extra chat boxes in Florida. Maybe. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of just put. Well, I mean, this is a... I'm going to see how this looks because I don't know how it actually see, looks watching. So I'm just going to try different things during the time that I'm on here. But help me make my character here. Do you think... Do you think I should have darker skin or lighter skin compared to this? Oh yeah, the glass is a good call. Let's see. Head... Are there glasses on here, though? I don't know if there's an option for glasses. Let's let's go with the skin color. Do you think I gotta go lighter or no? Skin tone and complexion. Is that lighter or darker? You think? say lighter okay so let's go lighter no, that's way dark get out of here how about that you think lighter or darker from here I think the complexion's fine. A little lighter still, okay. How about that? Lighter still? Alright, cool. Alright. Head. Here's where the glasses would probably be. I don't think there's an option for him to have glasses, to be honest with you, because I don't remember seeing any Mass Effect ever having glasses. Anything else from the head do you think that needs to be changed? We'll go one step by step. Alright, what about the rest of the head? Before I move on to the eyes. Boy, I forgot that this was a whole big create a person thing. I totally forgot that. Okay. Eyes are good. I mean, jaw, mouth, whatever. Nose. I mean, I don't think, yeah, nose shape, nose height. The nose is fine, right? Like, I don't know, maybe a smaller nose? I don't know. Alright, let's finalize this. You think it looks good, Rush? You think this is good enough since I can't put glasses on? <laughs> Great. Alright, let's do this. Finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Jack Shepard. There he is. He's back. Identification confirmed. All right, so folks, we're doing normal because this is all about me completing games. I don't want to be stuck, so whatever. Auto level up. I don't remember this. Points must be manually assigned. No, I... Wait. Points must be manually assigned using the squad screen each... Yeah, of course I'd want that. Level scaling... Yeah. <laughs> 
Ross is so bad with completing games. Ross, what was the what was the last game that you beat, by the way? Subtitles? No, I want subtitles on. We'll see how that looks. Squad power usage. Squad AA will not use any talents. I know, it's probably been a long time. Alright, here we go. Yay! Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. So, he knows what do you coming. think about the sound now? His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his Yeah, but courage. how do I sound compared to the narration? Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we I don't know if I should make it lower or... I'll make the call. I should make myself lower or higher or... In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the ve- Okay, bye! <laughs> I mean, is that good or bad compared to, like, hearing both pretty good, like... The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Where's Joker? Transmission sequence. Jack Shepard. Alright, I figured that was gonna happen. Let me... Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Yeah, I figured that, so I'm gonna lower the mute the uh the audio on the game and see how that works out. I figured that was gonna happen because the, the the I knew that the um the load screen or the uh character creation screen would be pretty quiet. How about now? Is this is this better? Coming back to me now. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. All right, very good. Just under fifteen hundred k. Fifteen hundred is good. Your captain will be pleased. Wait, how do I get I that? that Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. <laughs> I just jumped us halfway. Yeah, that sucks. I hope you I figure out what's wrong with that. I've never had it where That's there's incredible. no Side sound for the trouble. game. I don't like having them on board. Because usually the old is is the microphone's off. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Right. Yeah, that's the official but only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, I believe you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Now, well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay. You know what I was just wondering? If you can get the stuff for your side to work for Twitch, we could, I think there's an option that called stream together. That would be interesting to, to kind of do. I don't know what we would do, but we'd find something. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh, you get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Saving content. Ah, uh, yes. Here, that, I'm, already in, I'm already shooting things. Oh, here's for my tutorial, my codex, which is, I think the codex also is just where I find 
That'd be fun. Well, but we some of them we need more than two people, though. Uh, journal, I think, is my missions, as you hear the siren in the background. Are you a Lieutenant Commander Shepard? Yeah, I know. Squad. Oh, I have some armor that I can... Or I have points, I think. Got throw warp. Barrier is very helpful. I, I might put one a barrier right now, actually. And, ooh, I have charm. Is up the new dialogue options. Well, we're putting one on charm, too. And intimidate. Well, I don't have enough. Wait. What's this? Photo mode? I, didn't, I don't remember this having photo mode before. How do I... Alright, I'll, I'll figure out photo mode. Oh yeah, there you go. Lulu could be the third. They clamp to the desk? How so? Like, what is it? Just, um, like, at the end of the desk? Like, there's a clamp there? Or is there, like, something sticky on the bottom that'll make it stick? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, I heard you arguing, which Sounds I really like didn't. you don't trust Arturian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down in Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? doesn't add up you know Russ I also need you to check do something for me real quick not real quick because I don't know if it's ever gonna come I have a thing that's supposed to automatically put auto text in the chat room and I'm now now that I'm thinking about it, I've been on for roughly a half hour at this point and I haven't seen it have you seen anything on your end because I'm gonna assume that's not working that at this point it's just like, oh, I don't remember what I put. I think something like, oh, I'm, you know, follow, now that's what I call podcasting. And then there's a link. Yeah, okay, so this, that, that hasn't worked yet then. Okay. Uh, Spectres are elite operatives, top covert op agents. Why send a Spectre, a Tory inspector on a shakedown? I'm going to try something real quick. Hold on. I wonder if this works. Yeah, I gotta look into this because, so that should have triggered something. And it didn't. Alright, that's fine. That's time for me to look into it at, at another point. Alright, Spectres are elite operatives. So I'll investigate. Stealth system. Do you captain. have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. What do you know about the stealth system? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy. So how's Fozzie been, by the way? Drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's it's pretty obvious shakedown run is a cover for what? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. So Ross, if there's like a major decision coming up, you get you get uh you get a pick. What do you know about the stealth? System? I already did this one. I just know it. The north. 
Cuss, there's an island. It's pretty obvious they're shaking down. Just do your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. No, I didn't want to draw my weapon. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real I action be. ends <laughs> with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Uh, I'll put the doctors. Uh, yeah, I'll put the doctors right. God. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. <laughs> Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a spectrum. All right, so if you gotta run, then you'll do the next one. So the let me waiting. find a decision then. Goodbye, Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. It's probably something in here. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Here you go. It, what do you want me to say? Why are you asking what your point? Is that a threat? Yes, it's a Jack Shepard is from Lost. So you're forced forced to use the name Shepard. So back when I first played this game, I think it was around Lost era, and I was like, oh, Jack Shepard. So what are you gonna say? Why are you asking me what's your point or is that a threat? Choose threat. Is that a threat? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Here, well, well, since it's only a, that was only a little one, I'll have you do like the next two. So what is what do you want to say for this one? You want to say I knew? Oh wait, that's obvious. That's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. And I'll say, why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. When do you gotta go back? Strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. <laughs> oh, I thought because the way you sounded you're like, oh, I gotta go in like 10 minutes. Like, I figured it was a time. on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Do you like have um like headphones in, or is it like that the you're actually watching on like another side monitor? How did how's your setup? So usually when I'm listening to things, I actually have like an earbud in, and I kind of have that on even when I don't actually uh, watch or have pay attention to things. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Mm. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. We'll go with the like hell he is. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. 
You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Well, hey, Russ, what are you up to on, uh, on Friday evening? Anything much? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. What's the Just next tell step? me what I have to do. I need to see your skills right. for myself, Commander. Just curious because be the first of it kind of has to do with my announcement coming in you the next 20 the minutes. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Malice will accompany you to observe the mission. Beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. And who per se are the wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Perverse isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. You know, the one thing I am noticing as well is... I think eventually I need to get a better setup than what I'm doing because I'm just realizing right now that I said that I'm going to be on here till I said to myself, I didn't really say, I didn't say, oh, there's an end time or anything, but I said to myself I would be on here until at least 3.30, maybe even 4.30. Honestly, if things really get, get going... I might stay on till like even later than that and just do a dinner intermission or something. But yeah, my my chair is not great and it's kind of bothered me a little bit now. I think at some point I have to think of a new setup. Like I would argue that maybe I have one of the worst setups over anyone that currently does streaming. I'd be surprised if I mean, I'd like to know more about Eden there's got to be a lot to... Oh. It's a peaceful farm world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. I, mean, I don't know if I should invest in a chair, but a chair is a lot, and I don't know if I really have that money right now to do a, ch you know, like a game chair. ...evolution as a space-faring species, and after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. All right, I'm ready Just to go. give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think sir. about that. See this. Bring it up on screen. Yeah, but they all, it's all, I guess it is office shares. Oh, we might have to talk about that off recording. But then again, I don't know how I would get it here either. That's the other problem. What kind of chair would be best for for this kind of thing? Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. 
A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. All right, now I'm gonna start remembering, remembering how to play this game. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. <laughs> there you go. You're coming with us? If you're a survivor, screw I you. faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in this victim. And he wants that beat. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. I remember that. I remember. Uh, yep, my shootings over here. L two to aim. But how did I use the biotics again? Oh, that's how I got rid of the weapon the first time. Okay. Oh, and the switch weapon. Oh, that's right. I get all these weapons here. By the way, Russ, uh, look, one of my weapons is the Kessler 1, speaking of which, as we're on, as we're on, uh, as we were talking about that. This is I, this is one of the hold ones here. All right, let me see. How do I I want a different weapon. We have an Avenger one. Oh, I said, look, look at my weapons. We were just talking about the used chair stuff, and I'm like, one of my weapons is a Kessler one. I'm gonna equip the Lancer one though instead. Uh, he deserves a burial. Well, we could forget about him. Ah, uh, he deserves a burial. We'll I'll feel bad. Receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Did you hear what I said about the weapon? Aye, aye, sir. How do I run? There's definitely a run. Alright, I'll point it out to you again in a little bit. Let me... Next battle thing that comes up. I thought there was a run in this, but I guess not. I don't remember it. No, I said... I said I was, I was pointing out my weapons. And one of them was called, um, a Kessler 1. I don't know, I don't remember what my question was, to be honest with you. Oh, there it is. I found it. I think I'm going towards that big thing right there. I'm fatigued! How much? I didn't run that much! Uh, 
Oh, yeah, let me talk to you. Oh, I see. I, the fatigue meter is in the middle. I see. You know what? I know why I don't know where I'm going. Hold on. I figured it out. Because my VTuber thing, I believe, is blocking the map. Hold on, folks. That's exactly what's going on. So I'll put him up here. For now. Let's see how that works out for me. I'm like, wow, I can't believe that there's no map. I should, I also probably should move the, um, the, uh, official RP Jimmy thing. Yes, yeah, so this is going to take a lot for me to get used to, because every game's design is different, so... I have to just learn how to move certain things, and okay, yeah, let's move this down, and then move this down. There we go. I'm gonna, I hope that what hap what's gonna eventually happen is... I'm just going to get used to a certain game, like this one, and know where things are going to appear, and then I'll never, I'll, like, after the first episode, I'll never have to change it again. That's not true, though, because I don't play the same game twice in a row, or very rarely. Except for when I did that Children of Morta game. That, that, that was, that was the only game I was doing at the time. I think I'm going the right way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's attacking me here? Alright, cool. Yeah, um, you know what, Ross? To be honest with you, I could see myself doing this all the way till the evening. I'm, I really liked Mass Effect, and I, unless I get stuck somewhere, I'm probably going to do this in the evening, to, uh, a little in the evening. Maybe not when you get home, but, you know. If you're around, feel free to pop by, going to just watch and, and lurk, and you don't have to chat. Alright? Alright, I'll talk to you later, Russ. Thanks for joining in. Oh, that's right. I get to tell the squad where to go. Send a squad mate ahead. There and there. Oh, I only have one. Later, Russ.
How come he doesn't take cover by himself? Hold on a second. Time out. I'm trying to fix certain things on here. I don't want to move that down. Alright. I think I like that now. Let's see. Oh no, I gotta move the, the tuber down. Uh, I'm so not used to this. Hopefully I'll get better. Alright. Let's... Oh no, I don't want to move him down because... The map's going to show up there. I am going to make him smaller. Alright, let's try this again. Up, up a little bit, yeah. Let's see how this works out. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? What happened here? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Uh, join us. I, the more help, the better. Job, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Alright, but hold on. What about before the attack? What happened? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Hmm. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. All right, hold on, I'm just checking on something here. Because we have an announcement coming up in just a little bit. The first of three. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre. Alright, so this isn't gonna work, cause look. If you look, saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. He was, my guy was uh, blocking some some text before, so we'll move him over here and see how that works out for me. Uh, beacon, I don't think Tell we me everything open. you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. Mm. 
I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Oh. Move out. So it's the mission computer, then go to the squad screen. Sure. Squad. How many? I have two. Okay. I'm gonna give you... Throw. Oh, I love throw. Throw? And... Maybe first aid, just in case. First aid. Barrier. Oh, I can't do any more. Okay. Ashley has. Let's put her, put her as assault train now. Combat armor. And soldier. Check out this box over here. Light armor, scorpion. To change your team's equipment, press the mission computer. Oh, equipment. Scorpion one is be way better. So we'll put scorpion one on you. I don't think you have any other choice. Yeah, you only have Onyx 1. Onyx 1's worse, so yeah, you're not using that. Alright, here we go. I don't even see any enemies. I don't know why they had me do this. L3 to crouch. Yep, here it is. Ah! Throw a grenade. That was a horrible throw for where it needs to be. Hold X while moving to storm forward rapidly. Oh wait, let's take care of this guy first. What? I shot him like three times! Oh, because he has a lot of health. Okay, hold on. Here's what we're gonna do. Why aren't they letting me move? Wait, why are you both behind me? Go out there. Comparing the dozens of adjacent ships to the beacon, this is really impressive. Yes, I'll take all of these. right here it must have been moved by who our side or the geth hard to say maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp mm, let's we'll go make over for there. the camp 
It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Ugh, oh, another, again, it's being my, my YouTube, the YouTuber's blocking things. Uh, again, it's going to take me a while to get used to all this. Alright. Let's put you over here. Oh, it's time for the announcement. I didn't even realize it. Okay, folks. So, current announcement is that I promised for 1 p.m. I believe was the WrestleQuest one, but let me double check. Oh, no, it's about the pop-in series. So, the pop-in series, ladies and gentlemen. Again, what I'm going to start doing is once a week, from one to two hours every week until the game is done or I give up one or the other um hmm how do i say this i am not ready to announce what the game is i am however ready to announce the day of the week that it will be ladies and gentlemen the next pop in series will be every wednesday starting next week from six, starting at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that'll be every Wednesday until either the game is done or I am tired of playing that game. So there you go. I am not. I will announce the game this weekend. I, I'm not ready to announce it yet, though. for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Scout ahead. No, go over there. You go over there. that create nothing because I hit it and nothing happened. Let's see if we have better equipment here. Yeah, this one's better. looks better. I'll try this one. The sniper rifle is... It's, I don't know, it's, kind of, it's some, it's, it's better damage production, but it's worse on shields. And I like shields, so I'm not going to do that one. Alright. Onward. If I remember correctly, there's a guy that's going to be right here that go to attack. Oh no, there's not. Okay, I was wrong. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close 
close the door before they come back. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Okay, calm down. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a you need to mind, calm but he's down. always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I don't get it. So, sometimes... Mad. I'm the only sane one left. Oh, God. What are you? I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. Nah. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. He had it coming. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. All right, goodbye. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Where is the spaceport? I don't remember. Did I come up from here? I think I might have. I might have. What was that noise? I don't like that at all. Yeah, I was already down here. Wait, what's... Is that oh maybe it's this way hmm there we go Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find a gap here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I just thought something. Hold on a second. Look at the size of it. Oh. Yeah, let's look at the ship. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hold on. I want to check something out real quick.
right, now let me see if what I want to work is going to work. No, why do I have this? Oops. No, stop. I don't want that one. Equip storm. Nope. Equip Lancer? Why is it doing that? Fine, I'll just use the freaking pistol. Why is it not letting me switch? Oh, because I'm changing the wrong person. That's what's going on. Okay. This is what I want. There we go. Let's go. Is that it? Alright, let's have you guys scout. Get down there. And you go over here. Oops, that was stupid of me. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crate? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through. <laughs> okay. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Oh, ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Alright, let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. I gotta get away from here. I gotta get away from here. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Look at that! I'm getting wrecked by me. That's what you're doing.
Where's the other person? I mean, there's a red arrow down here, or red dot, so I know they're around. Hold R1 to bring up the power wheel. Oh, yes, this is what I want. Okay, but... What do I have again? I right, barrier, throw, which is great, and warp. Warp is good, too, actually. Barrier. I gotta switch to pistols, because this isn't working out for me. Oops. Take out those hostiles! Was it R1? No, R... Yes, okay, so we want... Throw. I thought there was uh, a, something he here that I could open. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, I thought I can open this. Fine. Who has heal? No one has heal. Great. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I may have to take a short break after 2 o'clock. No worry, I'll make the announcement first, because the 2 o'clock announcement... I believe... Is... Okay, yeah. The backlash announcement. Wait, what's going on here? I missed that. I, was, I had to look at something. Oh no! Damn it. What am I doing? Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down.
Oh, I hate those. All right. Hold on, everyone. Someone rang the bell. Now I gotta go see what that's about. Demolition charges. Oh, hold on, the gotta pull this. You know, I thought I heard a bell, and then, and then it wound up being that I did hear a bell, but maybe I might not have died if, uh, if I heard the first said bell and could have paused at an appropriate time. Well, at least I got I'm able to get a nice cold one, so we can try this again. We need to find them all and shut them down. How do I heal myself again? Oh my god, alright. Boy, am I not doing well at this game. Alright. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Alright, here we go. Again.
Oh, I just used the gel. I didn't even realize that. Well, now I know how to use the gel. Someone's dead. Can I bring her alive again? Is that a possibility here? other two stupid things. Oh, there they are. There's one of them. Alright, where's the last one? Yeah, after everyone's dead. Now it's payback time. Where's the... Where's the final thing? Is it up here? I'm running out of time. Which isn't right, because I found... I beat all the enemies. I can't believe I'm going to die, because I can't find the stupid last one. Ah. I might kill me, because I'm not going to get there in 24 seconds. Plus, it's just this. Nope. 
Nope. Where the hell's the last one? All right, kill me. Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Boom, dead. Boom. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! Uh, we need to find them all and shut them down. So it's where the flags are. There's a whole area here that I didn't even... Ugh. Boy, we are we are not having a good progress. Demolition charges. The gap must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Alright, so before we go to the left, we're gonna go to the right and see what's over here. I went the wrong way. It's fine. So hold on, let me go back. Whoops. So is there really nothing over here? found my third one by the way it's over here I don't think I got this one before
Oh, it is the same stupid flag that I can't find, that I wasn't able to find before. Oops. Why can't I find this stupid thing? Now I'm gonna lose again. Oh, here it is. Ironically, it's the one that I've gotten plenty of times before this time. Thank goodness. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I don't remember this at all. was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. <laughs> now a local hospital? I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. 
Science typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream, I a vision. Saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. We'll be in the Sounds mess. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I'm pissed off about the death. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Not, not, the oh. Geth would have wiped out I the whole colony. I didn't if mean I to hadn't hit that, actually. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? <laughs> it could be any of these three. A warning. I saw a synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. There's nothing what to report. Gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. 
comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. You know, I thought at some point maybe I'm maybe this is a different game that I'm thinking of, but I had thought there's a choice to save Ashley or to save someone else. And I thought that already was supposed to happen, but maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. What's up here again? Oh, this is the regular thing. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough. Is anything even down here? Located. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yeah, I might have even thought it was between Ashley and Caden. I was down here already. Oh. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Oh. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. That's rough. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Wow, well, let's go to the main to Joker. Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. We have our next announcement coming in a few minutes. And then at about 2.15, I'm probably going to take a quick, like, 5 to 10 minute break. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. <coughs> Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! 
You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. That's the truth. Seren's a threat to They're every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Oh, I might have to move my person. All right, important locations are marked on your map. Open the mission computer to access. Oops. Wait, how do I get to the map again? Oh, here it is. Alliance for Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Rogue Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Sure. Why so cranky? <laughs> you seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I don't care about you. Goodbye, to be Ambassador. With you. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted. Oh, what's now. wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Consort? Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where is she? Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Is this it?
All right, let's make some destination things here. Wait, where is he? Strained greeting, human. This is really no, not no, I know. a good time. No, I know, I know. So long, then. Thanks to you, human. Good day. Oh, it's two o'clock, which means it's about time to make the next announcement. So let's give me one minute here, and I will set that up for you, or let you know what it is. Uh, this, I believe, is the Wrestle Quest. Announcement. I guess I can't go in here. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. To CSEC Academy. The elevator to CSEC is located down the ramp to your left. Where's the ramp? Where am I going here? Ugh, alright, fine. I'll talk to the council. Where's the council, though? Alright, Citadel Tower's this way. Welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 2, located at the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the most recognizable and important features of the Presidium. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel, Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. All right, so let's get to this announcement here. So, WWE Backlash is this Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, unfortunately, this means that there's some complications 
when it comes to me and Bill recording said game. Hold on. No, I still can't use this. Okay. Where am I going here? What the hell? That's to the wards. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. How many credits do I have? Man, these look like they're all out of my range, but I don't think I have anything, actually. Oops. Why does it say, oh, is these, these second embassies are this way. Or C-Sec. Did I say Z? As in zebra? So anyway, like I said, Backlash, it's at a weird time. Bill and I have really tried to figure out how to do a, schedule something for this particular, uh, for the stream. So we've decided, unfortunately it's not going to be the day of, it's, it's, unless something major changes, we're not doing the day of. It's going to be this Friday, which is, what date is this Friday again? This Friday, May 3rd, at 6.45pm Eastern Standard Time. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Great. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. So once again, this Friday, Backlash live stream of WrestleQuest, 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the announcement. Now, the next announcement that's going to be made in about an hour is what game will I start playing this weekend? I'm very excited about it. However, that will be coming in... Uh, in about an hour. Actually, I might even push that out. Maybe I'll make that like four o'clock. Oh my god, I just went all the way around and... Ugh. Well, at least I got to explore the Citadel because I don't, I don't remember where anything is in the Citadel. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? 
My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Alright, let's see what it says on the journal. What am I supposed to be doing here? I'm telling you that one of the patrols mentioned some strange activity on the Hydra system. It's gone rogue. Like I said, I'm gonna have to take a little break here in a few minutes. Probably about 10 minutes. Let's continue exploring around the Citadel. There's these guys. No one's even here. I don't think. No, it's a bit of a slow stream. Because I'm just exploring the Citadel. You know, I can't even get many places. Unless we're going to Citadel, Citadel, the, the, the Citadel, Citadel Tower. Also the wards. Uh, yeah, let's just do this part now, and then I'll take a break. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. Oh. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you.
I never realized how, I never realized how weird the music is here. The hearing's already started. Come on. What do I mean weird? It sounds like this is like a dungeon, but it's it isn't. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to the crime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? See, he hates us. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. I'll find you. can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? <laughs> How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. The Council won't help us. We need us. to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, Lieutenant. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Uh-oh. I'm sure that we have Harkin's more words in there. Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Yeah, what's going on with you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. 
Oh, so would I. <laughs> Other leads. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh, I remember the Shadow Joker stuff. I can't wait to talk about that. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. Oh, I already did this. What happened? About 20... Saren eliminated him, but I saw how he operated. No conscience. No hesitation. He's a monster. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. All right, goodbye. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Can I fast travel yet? That guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. <coughs> what? Yes, is there something you want? Yeah, why are you following the Keepers? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Well, We're no. just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Sure, I'll help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Oh, can I use rapid travel now? Mm, I guess I go to the wards. Oh, Chora's den. Is it Chora or Cora's? Right, I'm gonna take a rest here in a little bit. Let me at least That's get in the air. Oh, whoa! Actually, you sacrifice for us. <laughs>
You know what? Let's watch this. <laughs> Let's watch this dancer, and then I'm gonna sit, do be right back. Wait, what's relax? Oh, okay. <laughs> sit forward. Relax. Leave. Actually, that would be a great thing to do, possibly, if I have to be right back in a little bit. Alright, here's Harkin. Wait, no, that's... Caden. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down. Rex! What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I want to get caught in the middle. I need Rex on my team. Military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related. Well, I might have a leg cramp, so bear with me. Jeez, ow. Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. How do you know he this? He said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> oh, God, okay. Disgusting. Okay. Just noticed that now, did you? It's not well. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. So we gotta go to the med clinic. I got business here, but not with you. Go away. All right, so let's take a break here. Pit relax. I'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am back, RP Jimmy. What are we doing now? Hold on. Yeah, it's a new era. New era for me here. Alright, let's go. Where am I supposed to be going here? Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take another break in a little, like, oh, maybe like a half hour, because I'm going to order myself. So I'm going to try something new. Uh, now that I have all these cool little things, like an intermission screen, a Be Right Back screen, we're using it because I'm probably going to have to order food for myself. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? I need supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. I mean, how many credits do I have? I only have 1,280, apparently. So, I don't think I can really buy any... Well, no, okay, I could buy a Medigel upgrade. So I'm changing some of the game plan here. We're actually going to do the... Um, we're pushing the 3 o'clock announcement to 4 o'clock. So 4 p.m. I'm going to reveal the next game that I'm doing. For the, the weekend game, I should say. I'm excited about this, to be honest with you. I... I am so t I'm I'm a little sad that I could I'm a little sad that I can't do that game now or today. But you know what? Mass Effect is fun too, for sure. I like Mass Effect. I love the legendary edition that gets all the DLC that I won't have to Some of them are gonna be blind, because I feel like I've only bought one DLC for Mass Effect in my life. <sighs> Where am I going? Hold on. No. Journal. Garrus. Yeah, where am I going, though, for Garrus? For the med clinic. Okay. Alright, let me go out of here. lower markets no I was just here what's over here chores den I think this is the way out I'm not that sure though nope I would like to get a ship by maybe 4 o'clock, if that's possible. Here we go. I think this is the route to go. Oh, wait. There's a keeper. Credits. I don't think this is the right way at all. Oh, all right. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's take a scenic view. <laughs> okay. Big. Big. What? Is that your professional opinion, sir? The scope is amazing. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. 
Jump Zero was big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Let's all move right, out. Secure the chatter. We're all FA. <laughs> secure the. I want to use that for when I want I people can. to stop talking. Secure the chatter. Alright, where's the um, where's the med bay? I'm here. Oh, med clinic to the right. That's Seasec Academy. There it is. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you? Let her go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Who are those Why men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Yeah, why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going out to Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We could use him. We want him. In handy. He's one of my favorite Last characters. I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Alright, good. We have Garrus. So we're gonna use... Ashley, how do I do this again? Um, add to squad. All right. Ashley and Ga Garrus. Except squad, yes. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I need supplies. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Here we go. Oh, God. Look, all these things are way out of my league. Oh, no, this one's not. Armor upgrade.
Which reminds me, I should probably update this stuff. No, 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 well, no. Medium medium armor is surprisingly not as good or not much better. Now nah, I'm gonna keep everything the way it is for now. Why do I keep doing that? Hold on, where am I going? Well, I'll up those, update that later on, actually. Rex, a crudity bit might be able to help you in Saren. Speak to Rex. So I gotta go with Sea Snack Academy. But where? So I gotta chores let's do chores den first. Actually, if it lets me go to C Sec, I'll go with C Sec. Embassies? Maybe. No, this isn't where I want to be at all. Maybe it is. Uh, I don't know. Back. Now we gotta go Chores Den for the Ser uh, not Seren, for the um, Garrus mission. Oh, look, there it's, it's loaded with people and enemies.
Oh, well, Garrus is dead, apparently. Look out! Stop right there. Don't come any closer. I thought I saw a weapons locker somewhere around here. Why isn't it letting me duck? It wouldn't let me, like, take cover. Oh, I gotta do that again? Alright, fine. So far, now we're I'm at least doing better. Garrus is dead. Ashley's dead. Oh, they're back up. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. I surrender. Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You've got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Corian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. 
I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. The uh, get the quarry in the morning before it's too late. Well, first, let's get this. Alright, how do we get to the... Where are we going exactly? Quarry, I'm lost in... We're gonna lose the quarry, because there's no way I know where in the world I'm going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you still back here? Are you stuck? I said in the black market. I mean, I hope it's this way, lower market. I can't get in there though. It's got to be up here. It's probably her right there. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. couldn't trust him don't worry about fist he got what was coming to him then i guess there are two things i need to thank you for who are you my name's shepherd i'm looking for evidence to prove saren's a traitor then i, I forgot this is how you meet tali for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe the ambassador's office it's safe there i want to see this anyway You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... 
My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We got Saren him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers, what are, are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, so now we can change up again. So we're going to take Ashley and Tally, because Garrus died like twice on us. Alright, I'm going to have to order food in a little bit for dinner. Which is not a problem. I, it really isn't, but it is going to take some time. However, let's journal. Speak to Rex. Rex the crew is being questioned at CSEC Academy. Alright, so we gotta find CSEC Academy. Good 
me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. I remember this guy. My name is Samesh Patel. I definitely remember him Forgive for sure. Intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my yeah, request. Yeah, let me help. I can put it with the embassy and speed things along. Have her body. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Oh, I gotta go back to chores again? I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. Ugh. The respect she deserves. I can't believe I gotta go back. I was just there. Alright, whatever. We're not doing that right now. We're gonna go to C-Sec. I don't know where CSEC is actually. There's the Embassy Lounge, so if I. I have to go that way anyway, so. I'm gonna go to the right because I thought I'm supposed to do something at the Consort's Chamber. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know. Hold on. Why do I keep doing that? Ah, screw it. I'm already on my way over there. Down and to the right, and then we'll get to c -Sec. Oops. I should probably put a save. Alright, down and to the right. Or up to the right. Where I want to go? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, wait, hold on. I want to go here. Oh my god, I was over here already? Wait a minute, that's not right, is it? No way. Map. <sighs> okay. Whatever. Goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia. Oh yeah, let me get this Nirali. guy's wife's body. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Well, I can't even hit these. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Bhatia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. No, he's gonna say he wants his wife's body. Rightfully so. Trump leader rooms. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. Well, maybe I didn't want to talk to you anyway. 
Alright, where's CSEC? Oh, another keeper. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. Oh boy, that doesn't sound sketchy at all. You never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun then. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Yeah, who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. All right, I gotta order this food um, in like it's my in the job. next. I, I have to go like in with the order within the next fifteen minutes. Was there something you needed, Commander? No. Okay. I'll you know. be going now. Goodbye. All right. Let's. Oh, another keeper. I'm thinking of moving my, my VTuber thing up when I come back. No, I don't want to talk to this guy right now because I need to... I want to get the thing with CSEC or... CSEC Academy, this way. Okay. Alright, so Rex has got to be in here. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling Alright, let me do be right back because I Proponents need to get this order human in. colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonists and yeah, get up to the floor, sharply. Please. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Oh, there's Rex. Let's, you know what? Uh, no, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Be right back.
All right, everyone, I'm back. I just ordered. Let's go talk to Rex. You, human. You the one they call a shepherd? That's me, Commander Shepherd. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Wait, are you serious? You're going to pay me for getting rid of Fist? I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. Oh, great. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You made your case. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Alright, so we have most of our party members here. We're adding Rex, because Rex is a big fan of Rex over here. And let's put Ashley back in. Yes, Rex! Speaking of, by the way, so I'm one of the reasons I keep maybe not doing great is I haven't really updated my equipment. Let's take a look at this. No. Hmm. This one's better. Light armor, that's, that's worse though. Alright, let's try Rex. I mean, he already has that. No, that's fine. Oh, hold on one second. I gotta put my um thing back on here. Wait, does this still say them? Okay, I was gonna say. I th thought I was gonna say. Oh, I'm not back yet. So I will have to leave, however, at 4.30, because that's when my food's getting here. And then I'm going to subsequently eat. So we'll be doing an intermission. And I'm going to come back. I, I decide to come back. I, oh, wow, look how much stuff I can upgrade. Yes, please. All right, basic armor, because I'm shield boost great. And then charm and intimidate. Do one of those. Do two more barriers. Stasis unlock. So stasis. And then finally, oh, two basic armor. That was really good, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, I could put a helmet on, too. Ashley... Yeah, this is why I was dying, because I didn't upgrade any of my equipment or any and any of these. Channel and burst. Shield boost. Put all them over there. Put her helmet on. Rex! Alright, Rex is getting. Giving him all that. I feel. Oh, I upgraded. Oh no, that's Jack Shepard. 
Oh, I gotta change back to each one to do it? That's... I forgot about that. Alright. Um... Equipment. Let me give him the Banshee. Look how you can mark his junk. Alright, so where am I going now? Return to the tower. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful bionic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteus. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. This is the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy.
Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Specter, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Bastard didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Oh, I should have waited to save some for that. Oh, what a fool I am. What a fool. All right, so where do you, do you want me to go to Spectre place? Or speak to the ambassador. Where you with a ship and crew. Meet up the alliance with Docking Bay. The central L. Okay, so I gotta go C sec basically. Where's there it is. Talking here it comes. Here we come. Of duty, Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. It's a forced retirement? This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conflict. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. 
But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Uh... I'll start there, I guess. Sounds because like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job. I'll take care of Saren. You take care <laughs> of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Ugh, all right, whatever. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, let's get on the ship. Start going to some other planets. Actually, more likely, more than likely, what's going to happen by. is sure I'll do you. things on the on the ship, and then it'll be time for dinner for me. I decided to push back the announcement until 6 p.m. tonight. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. Got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. What a speech. All right, galaxy. I think it's galaxy map is what we have to do, right? Well, maybe not. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on our side. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. All right, I think this is the point where we have to talk to everyone, maybe, before we go. Was anyone even down here? Jaden's down here. Let's see if this is just like a generic bubble or actually something. Anything you need, Commander? No, it's just generic. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. Hold on. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship. Alright, so this is... We'll talk another time. Not really much about anything here. Let's examine the sleeper pod. 
I thought that was a door. How do I... Do I have to talk to Joker? Commander, something you need? No, it's not I have to go. you I have to talk to. Alright, see All right, I'll see. Liara, we can go... We can tr try to go there. But how... oh, that's it. No. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. I'm very confused. Yes, sir. We gotta go in here. Isn't this just downstairs again? Ugh. Oh, <laughs> up, up the elevator, or down the elevator. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Hey, Commander, looking for some extra supplies before you Maybe head later. up? Not right now, thanks. No problem. Check this out. Garrus. Being a specter does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. Tough decision. Right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Tally, she's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for Tally, Commander, but I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adam. Actually, that's exactly why I came down there, just to see, uh, get my conversations in with, with everyone. Oh, wait, there she is. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I didn't bring you along to admire my ship. I know why I'm here. I'll do whatever I 
can to help you stop Saren and drive his Geth armies back beyond the veil. I should go. See you later. I think that's it. No, there's it. I told did I talk to Rex? I no, I don't think I did. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. <laughs> don't be an ass. You've been lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. Oof. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Ooh. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Alright, I see your point. Calm down. You need to calm down. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh, I can do upgrades here. I mean, not that there's much. I give her a storm. Wait, can I? Oh, there's Ashley. Commander. Dismissed, Chief. No, I want to talk to you because I think you're the last person I have to talk to. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm gonna make you talk right now. I wish you got here sooner, Commander. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. Alright, so now I should be able to... Leave, right? Well, we gotta figure it out because in about in a half hour, I'm gonna be taking the intermission. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. I don't understand how yes, do sir. I leave. I thought it was this galaxy map, but it doesn't seem to want to open at all. Is it Joker again? Am I having a glitch? <laughs> Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, let me see what the journal says. That's right, I gotta go up this way to do it. Duh. I didn't have to even, I didn't have to even freaking talk to everyone.
Oops, I went too far out. What's this again? Oh boy, we're just gonna ex when we come back. I think we're gonna just explore things here. What's what's I just want to go to a little planet to explore a little bit and then head back here, do a few odds and ends, and then there'll be intermission. Remember, 6 p.m. announcing the game. That's going to start in the weekend. I don't... Mm, I don't remember what we're actually supposed to be doing here. Oh, uh, okay. Let's do... Let's take Ashley and Tally. Ah, oh, the Mako car. I hated this back in the day. Maybe it's grew on me at this point. I'm still annoyed by this. At least so far I am. Can I go in here? I don't, I think my VTuber thing is blocking information, possibly. Let me see something. What kind of place is this? I mean, there, there I am. Boy, I went to the wrong planet.
right, let me see if that's what's happening here. Get rid of this chat box here for a second. So I'm not missing anything, per se. I guess we're doing this stupid planet because I can't get out of here. Is it options? Unless, do I have to hold down a button? Oh, this sucks. Well, this was a terrible decision. You know what? Can I reload it? Nope! I'm still in the damn Mako. And Therum.
Everything I'm reading here also says just plus X in the Mako. But this is what happens when I hit X. Or do I go up here? Is, t t tell me it was this the whole time. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Get out of there. I can't believe I'm going to have to go back because I don't know how to get off this stupid planet. Is it select? No. Fine, I'll do the stupid fucking planet. I'm so mad right now. This way. I mean, won't my thing die with the lava? here.
You're talking about. I'm I feel like I'm doing pretty good on this round. I'll go up this way if I can. Oh, this is. <laughs> Very annoying. The socks. I hate this. The Mako's stuck. Take out those hostiles. I guess I have to go up the hill somehow. And the mate goes toppled over. There's no door around here. Exactly what it's saying. If you, I'm not, I'm gonna level with everyone right now, so I'm in the Mako, correct? Everyone sees I'm in the Mako. I looked up specifically Mass Effect Legendary Edition. How do you leave a planet? All right. And they say can't you just go into your map menu and press X?
from NACO, you can just press X, and it'll ask if you want to go back to the Normandy. Oh, wait, so this is a 360, though. Hold on. Oh, these people are saying that I can't leave the planet. And of course, they're stuck in the same place I am. Oh no, Theorem is a main story planet. Oh, uh, all right, so we gotta do, we gotta fucking do Theorem. I'm about to go on intermission anyway, so you know what? We're gonna do Theorem when I come back. That sucks ass. Sucks ass so much. Out of every planet that I've had to choose, I might reload to a sa earlier save file. I'll be honest with you. I specifically tried to not get into this situation. Alright, I'm doing intermission early because I'm so annoyed right now. Alright, maybe not. Hold on. You know what? Screw it. We're going to look around a little bit because I don't have a message yet that my food's on its way. I don't think I did. Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay, here's the here's the solution, right here.
Where's the enemy? Alright, so I see what I have to do now. Alright, let's hopefully this won't be too bad. But it is almost time for me to take that intermission because dinner's gonna be here. Yep, after all these years, I still hate the Mako. Hate it. Who's shooting at me? Alright, I have to go. Well, not go, but... <sighs> Man, let's position right over here. Just like this. Let's go on a little bit further. With my luck, that just as I'm about to do it, delivery is going to come.
Yeah, I'm still here. Still mid. Mid at myself, I guess. And also hungry. And the food has not gotten here yet. Oh my god, at least I'm almost out of this fucking area. Oh no! Oh, actually, that could have went. That could have went way worse, but I don't know. Maybe not. Well, I guess I'm going on foot here. The dumb mining camp. One goddamn planet that I can't go back. Now I gotta do this. I, all I want to do is like, oh, let's a little planet. I'm gonna be like, oh, well, this will be fun. I can scan things and explore around and then just go back to the ship and do intermission and come back. But no, now I'm stuck here. I'm not even paying attention because I'm waiting for when I'm this the fucking food's gonna be here or not. No. I had it scheduled for 4:30. It's now 4:38. Clearly, it's late.
in the world is this food? What, what, what's going on here? I'm gonna have to call if I don't hear back from them in like... I'm gonna give them five more minutes before I call. I don't think this is working out like I wanted to. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, all right, now it's out for delivery. So now's when I'm gonna take intermission because I'm gonna obviously need more concentration for this battle. I'll try once, but then we'll do it again. Be back in like a half hour to an hour.
All right, everyone, I am back here, back with some more Mass Effect. <clears throat> so we got to figure out what we're doing here. I'll try, I don't know, I'm really debating on reloading from the last save point, but we'll see how things go. This is hard. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm gonna try this and see if this works. I mean, I don't even know if this is damaging him at all.
This is really annoying. Like I said, I don't even know if that's damaging him. We're switching items or weapons. Oh, I switched it. Oh, that's no, I switched the wrong person. We're about, that's it. We're going to go to the last save point. If I lose, we're going to the last save point. At least I know this is doing something. Yeah. 
Yeah, look how quick he healed. I do not have the team ready for this at all. All right, load. Oh, I can't play. I gotta do like an hour's worth of. Uh... All right, what do I have to do? Journal. I'm coming. Talk with diplomat. Scan the keepers. Oh no, I guess I'm done. I can just go to another planet. Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all after... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful. Any progress with that Hanar? Well, let the Hanar talk. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. Okay, well, I don't think I have a permit. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Oh, that's right, I gotta go get Rex and return to the tower. Alright, so let's go to CSEC. Oh, okay, so you're not gonna let me go to CSEC? Alright, fine. How far is CSEC from here? All right, to the left, basically. Let me see, do my, um... Oh, I didn't even redo this, so I got... Oh, I have to redo this, let's see. Barrier, stasis, charm. Depth, Timidity, and let's try another throw. You have... Assault Rifles, Pistols, Assault Training, Soldier, Tali has... Basic armor, pistols. First aid. Ah, not enough for first aid though to... Okay, equipment. This one's better. C-Sec is down here. At least that's what I'm led to believe. There we go. I've 
heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. Why, where's the chat box go? Oh, come on. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Uh, skip Rex and let's go back out there. You. But we're not human. doing what we were doing before. The one they call Shepherd. Is there a problem? The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. All right, we know all this. I'm just doing my job. Taking care. I don't like where this is. But I didn't finish. You're going to pay me for getting rid of. I like. Great. Rex is on the team automatically. Alright, now I can leave and go back to where I need to be. Right? I think it's by Citadel Tower. I should have looked. That would have been the smart thing to do. Yeah, return to Citadel Tower. Come on. Yep, we know all this. The Can I skip scene? Do they? Eden Prime was a major victory. Ah, uh, we gotta watch all this again. One step closer to finding the conduit. All right, so this will be a good time, I think. To talk about the um You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his specter status. You can't skip this all. Efforts will be made to bring I you recognize in. the other voice, the one uh, traitor. Oh, must be working. Oh, here we go. We weird. The or no. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Tactics. I can't skip this, apparently. So with that in mind, let's talk about the next announcement. So on the weekends, which is Saturday and Sunday. Duh, right, of course, Saturday and Sunday. And sometimes holiday weekends, if a Monday should uh, happen on it. You know, if, if, mon if Monday falls on like a... You know, Memorial Day birth. weekend, for example. I'm very excited to announce Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We'll start playing that this weekend. I'm very excited about this game. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first? You, Anderson, come with me. Uh, come on. Your help to set all this up. Oh, I did it again! <laughs> Where I should have saved some of my points for being a Spectre. Unless... Oh, they give me points. Okay, hold on. Spectre training. Four. Great. Oh, I probably could have done the bo that boss now, but... I mean, they wouldn't let me go trade back in the ship. I would have taken Rex and... Probably Garrus if I was able to figure out how to get back on the ship. The ball is 
All right, where, the, where am I going now here? Speak to him, wait, speak to Ambassador Central Elevator in the CSEC Academy. So we're going back to CSEC. Right here. recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colony. Well, Rex has 14 points. So first off, he's definitely doing barrier required barrier six points. Oh no, he's in. Fitness. Assault rifles, give that two. And fitness again. Organization okay. insists that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Oh, am I going? Did I not go to the right place? Hold on. You hit the Alliance docking bay, accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Oh, so I think I went on the wrong elevator. Dude. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why... Yep, it's this one. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I've got right, big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. Let's okay, get this. Yours now. She's quick and quiet. You need fine. Yep. Well, at least I won't waste a lot of time this time. <laughs> <Sorry. coughs> Excuse me, talking to everybody. Decontamination in progress. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Just watch your back. Intercom's open. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the condom. Everyone's counting on us. Well said, Commander. Captain, we'll let him down. All right. Let's explore some planets. In fact, we're gonna do all of that. We're gonna explore planets. At least a few of them. We might not even get our last party member for today. And I'm only planning to stay on here for like another hour and a half, maybe two hours. Ah, I hate when I do that. You know what? Before I do anything, hold on. Let me go back here. We're gonna save. That way, there's no problem. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the Hawking Edda, I guess is the name.
message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Anna Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father <laughs> Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is I think I'm, if it lets me, I'm just going to gather missions, and then maybe next time we'll start doing some of these. Well, definitely next time, because the next time will be next month, and it's going to be a large stream, just like this is. Like, uh, is there anything I could do here? No. Guessing he's on this one. Oh, medallion recovered. Huh. Alright, I guess there's no father unless he's here. No. Oh yeah, I could land here, but no, I'm not going to. We're just gonna collect quests. So let's go to the next one. Anytime it says land, we're probably not going to do. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Is it Father Kyle? I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the Coos. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by thresher mows. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. All right. Survey. Scans of the planet Clinquory revealed the cockpit of a Volus trading vessel. There are no signs of the rest of the ship, but the salvage team discovered what a matrix Dilanagas writings in the ship's system. Okay. We can land here, but we're not going to. Under this one, you know, Armstrong. Message again. coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. Hmm. Or worse. This could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. 
We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting again. You have a logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hack it out. Right. Wait, no. What? Hold on. Armstrong Nebula. You know, I thought it used to say on here 100% that, you know, that you searched all of them, or... I don't know why it isn't saying that. I could land here, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do little odds and ends here for the rest of the hour and a half, or whatever it is that's left. I'm not going to do any missions. And off, off screen I'll probably buy things for the next time. I mean, I'm not going to be back with this game for another month, so... Certainly have the time. I should hope so. So each one of these places has an outpost, apparently. So we're just gonna start, we're just fetching quests now. But real progress begins next month. Matriarch's writings. Scans of Martar revealed debris from a destroyed Asari freighter. First, first scans uncovered a body which was brought on board. Dr. Chakwas was examined it but learned nothing about its origins. Among the Asari's personal effects, however, was one of the Matriarch Dilanga Dilanga's writings. There's a lot of her writings around here. Wait, there's one more in there. I didn't check this one. And we'll do one more of this area because I think we've already done the other three. Scanning the planet Preguel, you discovered several marker buoys orbiting it. Chief Engineer Adam secured some high-res optical images of the bu buoys, which appear to have been neglected for some time. Each one was marked with the Batika colony insignia. Alright, that was the last one, I believe. Turian insignia. Message coming in. 
patching it through. This is a general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Margos. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Okay, so we can go there at some point too. I'm debating on doing that quest. That seems like an easy one. Oh, there was one more I missed. this? The Worth Worthington is a Kowloon class module and conveyor of human design. Configured to for mixed freight and passenger hauling, the ship appears to be shut in a shutdown state. The main thrusters are cold and it is adrift off the orbit of Anthropus. Huh, I'm curious about this one. Let's do this. Alright, we'll have Caden and Rex. Yeah. Let's see how this team does. Alright, Caden. Well, Caden has first aid. So, let's get those unlocked. Alright, everyone else. See. Yeah, I don't think I did this last. Oh, I did it, but then I, you know, loaded up a previous save file. I mean, you can only wear light armor, I think. And that's fine. Probably check Caden already. Hmm. I, I thought for sure he could wear heavy armor, but I guess I'm wrong. Let's do this one mission. Empty. Someone must have shut down all systems, except basic life support. I know. Actually, I didn't hear anything, to be honest with you. Somebody set that trap. This whole place could be wired. Mm. Oh. 
Boy, what a fun time. What a fun time. I don't even see the wires at all. Alright, well, let's try this again. Empty. Someone must have shut down all systems, except basic life support. What, they want me to go this way? Somebody set that trap. This whole place could be wired. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I can... Get the trap right here. Also, I mean, it's too low. I have um, what's his face with me. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Well, I think that she's gonna like pop in and scare me. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. Shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless. It's so damn angry. Was was it some tearing me apart? Doctor Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. Oh uh, yeah, you're definitely up. here. I won't. You're definitely here somewhere. It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. And when we are apart, I feel it too. And no matter what. I mean, I'll tell you right now, if she is here, Jacob she's is hiding no really signs good. Of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. She's definitely here. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to. Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... <laughs> there you are. Well, that's that. Julia's dead. Nothing else to do here.
Where in the world was she even hiding? Well, too bad only let in depth. How do I get out of here? That was easy enough. It didn't take too much time. Oh, did I do this? Yeah, I think I did this one. start some of those some of missions. Did I check these? No. More matriarch writings. You recovered a strange object orbiting Flo Floba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origin. They did find one of the Matriarch Dilanaga's writings stored within. Am I able to see these writings, by the way? I'll, I'll check that out in a little bit. Oh, I don't want to land. I don't even know what's even there. Oh, there's another thing here. I didn't see this. Oh, that must mean I might have missed some other ones, too. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Alright, just clicking planets, everyone. Just clicking planets. At this rate, we definitely are going to have time for another mission. It's not even 6.30 yet. Well, this is where the main mission is, so I'm not going to go there yet. Let's see. Let's see what missions we have. Oh, well, I mean, those are the main missions, but we have this one. Research 
My protein is focused on discovery of ancient data disk. We have one out of seven. Fanatical biotics at the hate cluster of kidnap the chairman. Nah, I'm not going to do that one yet. Several Turian outposts and colonies were destroyed during the Unification War. Each colony's insignia also disappeared. We have two out of 13 emblems. The Geth have become, begun setting up a number of small outposts. Uh, that one we'll definitely do next time. Sorry, writings. Oh yeah, can we see this? Is a, um, I guess we can. So he's been killing every Alliance scientist who was involved in a secret project years ago. Locate signs of battle. Major Kyle. Also, I'm really just hand over. Scan the keepers. You may see this distress call from a downed med ship. Let's do this one. You've received a distress call from a downed med ship in the Hydra. So, Argos Row Hydra. That's the only one here. Oh, no, there's one here, too. All right. I'll check that out. In, uh, let's check it out now, because I'm going to forget. mentioning. Probably this one, right? Alright, this time we're going to take Garrus. Okay, map. So there's me. There's a signal thing there. Debris. And an anomaly. Let's check out the debris first. Very, very hilly.
There it is. What do you mean my skills? Oh. Wait a minute. Turns out Ashley has adrenaline boost, shield boost. Well, she could get first aid at some point too. Shotguns. Oh, look at all the stuff that Garrus has that he can open up right now. Okay, first of all, three. One, two, three. Three. Let's try this again. No, still too low. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to come back with Tally at some point with that one. I think this might be the last thing we do before I say goodbye for a stream. This whole planet, I mean. I think if I, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is thankfully the only game. No, actually, that's not true. I was gonna say this is the only game that has the Mako. But hopefully, it's the only game of these three that have the Mako. I think Andromeda had one too. Andromeda just wasn't great. I re I don't remember much about Mass Effect Andromeda, but I really I remember not liking it as much as these three. So what is this? What's the anomaly? Is up here? Torian insignia, all right. While searching the wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. All right, where's the other one? Right here.
there's something over here. Let's check that out. say it. Wait. Where is, is that it? Okay. That's a Ethereum deposit. Wait, where are the gap? Oh. Jeez. Alright. How come it didn't... I don't know, I thought it would tell me when I'm almost dead. Oh no! I have to go do all of that again? Ugh. Alright, I have to... Mass Effect, I, I never realized this. Maybe I forgot this aspect of the game. Apparently I have to save often in this freaking game. Alright, let's go and collect these things again. I almost feel like I want to do this off recording though. Well, I'll see. This is very annoying. This is why I hate the Mako stuff. I don't know what... I know at some point I've read, and I mean, this opinion could have changed with this game, but 
at some point I read that people were like, oh, I love the Mako stuff. Really? Did you? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Let's get the artifact back. And we already know we can't get to the other thing, so... Let me save. You know what, now I'm thinking about, I think the Mako does come back, but it's not as bad, I feel like, in Mass Effect 3. I, uh, before we go to the down ship, let's go to this mineral thing. Save again. So if we lose, we'll be fine. Where did the get even come from? I gotta get out of here. Let's deal with one enemy at a time.
Who's shooting? Did we do it? Like, is this done? Alright, this is done. I think we can probably call it a stream. I'll try something. Hold on, everyone. All right, I want to see something on here. Because once again, I'm not that sure. Oh, come on, no, I don't want. Yeah, this is what I want. For now. All right, that's is this done? to the Normandy yes all right so now I know how to go back to the Normandy does it say that's done though like oh, I should have checked Let's do this, the, um, the husband and the, the wife one. Like I said, we're nearing the end here. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth starting this weekend. to this guy about his wife maybe grab some more side quests and then we're out of here next month oh my we're gonna do so many things next month
Oh wait, what's this? Nothing? Okay. Oh, uh, who do we want? Garrus and Rex. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to start working to get the um, Singularity. Well, I went with Gary. Okay, Garris, you have, I didn't put any of your points in. Okay. Oh, yeah, I probably did it earlier before I did the restart. Electronic. Ah, oh, I probably could have used him earlier. Is Rex good? I mean, Rex has four. Wow, I'm in a way, even though we didn't do that much, I'm in a way, way better situation to try to get to that next part. All right, let's see. What are we doing here? We're going to meet with what's his face? The husband. Where is he again? I don't remember. I think it was the embassy. Maybe not. I'll find it eventually. Still have a half hour to find it. Yeah, I think it's over here because there's an exclamation point. How come I can't get up there? Here he is. But what's the exclamation point then? Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. Oh, did I not do this because I did the reset? Yet. Okay. Alright, I, I got I see what happened now. Because I did the... Uh, I, had to, I reloaded the old save file. I hadn't done that on that save file. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batia is having some trouble. Ah, Mr. Batia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Yeah, we know Her all this. wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. 
The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Oh, I have these, um... This isn't right. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. All right, we get a good deed today. Uh, where is he? Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Great. Was there anything else that we can do here? Wait, what's hostage? Oh, that's the chairman thing. Okay. Sorry, writings. Oh, we gotta get the, um... We have to buy a permit or something, right? Let's go to the wards, because I feel like there's something at Chores Den that I'm forgetting. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? How are my credits looking, by Let me the see way? What you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. A few non human armors. I mean, I still I can get this. I don't really know how. <sighs> how well that's gonna be. To be honest with you. I guess I thought there was something to do here. Maybe I was wrong. There's something back here from when I was fighting er, fighting earlier. Like a straggler is still here somewhere. Nope, okay.
where do I buy the permit? Nope, I don't want to be in here. I got that keeper already. I wonder what that was. It sounded like some very festive music. I will check it out in a second. on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. No thanks. Not right now. Going. As you say, Earth Clan. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Alright, that seemed easy enough. Why do I think I remember that he's very suspicious about something at some point? Oh, another keeper. Alright, let's go to the tower. Maybe that's where I get the... the permit. Who? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. What's wrong? My mind. Maybe I can help. Mm, well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. There's not much over here, at least not right now. Keeper.
looks like this was not the answer. So let's go to the financial district. this one of the earth clan ah, a very famous one yes you are the one called shepherd it is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the blitz you've got me at a disadvantage here forgive me earth clan my name is barla Vaughn. my job makes it necessary for me oh to we have to go see the consort too i forgot about i am a that. financial advisor to many important clients here on the citadel when someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Mm. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. What is the consort building? Let's do that. The Emporium. Oh, the bank. I don't know if I've been to the bank or the Emporium. I'm like, all right, so everything is behind me <laughs> that I would need to check out that I have not been yet. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. I mean, is there any chance that I could buy a, um... Buy a... Not passport, what were they thinking of? A, you know, the thing that the guy needs. Your friend. Another, another keeper. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What is she I feel like I'm, I, there is a way that I can see her right now. It's difficult to explain. 
She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. All right, all right, I've had I think enough I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, oh, Shira? here it is. Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. I knew that there was a way that you can just have this happen. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. This is my first time. I can't believe You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. All right, good for you and your brother. <sighs> that is close it's enough, hard. Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our oh, Citadel. Oh, and what was that? I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. I don't know. I feel like you're in the wrong What here. happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. Mm. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very... I don't grateful. trust this woman. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I what have is this? An egg-shaped seating area? Okay. You are ever asked to aid Shaira. It's quite an honor. All right, I gotta I go to Cora's den. Of apparently, come back anytime. Let's hear from the other side, the other side of the coin, the other side of the story. Go in that, <laughs> it's always the wrong direction. Uh, is this him? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. Is she worth really it? worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. Alright, maybe she wasn't wrong. 
Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by mobbing in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I ever come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to this hear. is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower. Okay. Say, so you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra Of credits? course I would. Why what wouldn't I? What do you want I? me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why me? Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors. Shouting his secrets in public. You take this data pad. <laughs> okay. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. Yeah, well, I think we've already met him. Oh, I think Shaira. we've met him already. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know. You might make a good general yourself one day. No, I guess this beat's kind of catchy. All right, back to business. Go away. So I'm going to go back to the Elcor and then the Consort, I believe. And then that should be the end of the stream. Oh no, it's the other direction. And what's this? What's this exclamation point? Off at this route. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do both of them. Besides, I'm not. I'm tired, but I'm not that tired. So. Earthclad Spectre has returned to speak with me. Not anymore, because I thought you were the right person, and you're not. Yes, yes. Good day, Earthclan. Well, at least I got another keeper. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Sam. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance. Just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. 
He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Berg. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the This atmosphere. place is on fire. Nobody inside survived. There was this a camp for the workers is on the fire. Nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectre. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the burn. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. the way, how's my squad here? I mean, Rex has two more slots that I can give him, so let's give him... Let's finish this one. So down and to the right. Not just pretty much straight. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the I mean, permit. I can get that. 150 credits? That's this it. should cover you. I mean, I have like 6,000 right this now. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. That's well, like, assuming I still lost those credits, but that's fine. 
Wait, why is there an exclamation point still over here? I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. All right, are there any other exclamation points on this map that I should know about? Yes, there are. The consort. Oh, that's right. I have to go back to the consort chambers. Oh, wait, I was over here. Why do you. Oh, I'm so dumb. I thought. Ah! All right. All right, let's go. Let's do the consort chamber first. No, no, I'm not going to fall for it. We're going to go. Presidium Embassies. Because this might trigger something with the, uh, the consort as well. to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can no, do? No, not only to talk to you, actually. You, way. on the other hand... Alright, maybe not. Time. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secret. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. <laughs> Whatever. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure your friend can be promised. Alright, now let's go see the consort, because... I'm sure there would have been some extra scene if I went to go see her first. I'm sure, not, not that there would have been an extra scene. There would have been something that said, oh, do this, now go back here and go do that. And I would not have appreciated it. Okay. Consort chambers. This is one of the last things we're going to do. Right, I go right in because I'm a VIP. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Ah, uh, yeah, let's talk payment. I can't spend gratitude. <laughs> I do not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What is it? What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. 
It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Wait, that's it? Where's my... Oh, no, you are giving me uh, monetary thanks, payment, right? I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. remember this at all okay here commander in light of your efforts with the Elcor ambassador I would like you to have this small trinket a trinket what is it a small mystery I have never learned its use or purpose but I sense it is time for me to pass it on and now I must ask you to leave I have done everything I can for you Remember my words, Commander Shepard. I got a two plus renegade for that. I see even the humans find the consort very good. Hello again. The consort is very pleased with everything that you have done for her. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. Okay. I did the I checked that keeper already. Map. No, I think we've done all the plot that we could do. Yep. All the plot. This is probably going to be a good time for me to head out, but... Oh, wait, do I see a key? No, I thought it was a keeper. What is this way? Have I been this way? Probably. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Alright, I don't now. really care for a history Thank lesson right now. Have a pleasant day. Got a moment, Spectre? What's up? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. Good for you! I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. Oh, that sounds They're hiding on the old worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. Oh. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. Mm, a likely story. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. I could charge you. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. Oh, God. I have excellent legal representation. 
Arresting me would be a waste of your time. Oh boy. I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you with the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Anyone else? Anyone else want to talk? Anyone else have something for me to do? Any keepers around? What are you doing? You look suspicious. Just sitting here like that. With your hands on your stomach. Are you pregnant? What's going on? What's in here? Hello, Vanessa. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for as asking. Just doing some mass effect here and... Honestly, I'm trying to trigger just different quests so that next time I'm on here for Mass Effect next month for another marathon stream, that uh, we'll just do mission after mission. There has to be something in here that I have missed. Who's Garroth? Who is this? I really appreciate oh, it. his brother. That's right. Let me know as soon as you find any information on my brother. What kind of games do you like to play, Vanessa? Well, I guess I drained out everyone here as far as quests go. So let's take a look. What do we have here? Journal. I mean, look, we have all... I mean, all of these are not quests, but a lot of them are. Oh, wait, no, this is the... No, this is the quest. This is the side quest. The fan. Is this... What harm could it be in talking to him if you meet again? How do I... Is he here? Hold on a second. Where is he? Where is Conrad? I'm gonna find Conrad now. That's my new goal for the next 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Wards. He's probably in C-Sec. All right, so we're going to spend the next, like, 10, 15 minutes to look for Conrad. And quests. There's got to be something here, because I barely looked in this section. So let's look around here, and maybe there's going to be another quest that I can start. Oh, Keeper. Oh, it's just a shop. Ugh. I don't need a shop I right now. Sure thing, you have a I need actual things to do, for, so I'm building this up for next time. Yeah. 
No, I don't want to go to the wards. There's definitely someone in CSEC offices. There has to be. Here we go. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me. Wow. And I thought we were friends. That is a very, very serious claim. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and... No, he's just somebody me. that I used to know. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. How can I help? Because that's I what do? I'm doing. Not I'm Mr. Friend, Helper. Maybe. Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Oh yeah, I'll show him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted Ooh, to... Talk, we might do this that. one before I go. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the keepers. Oh, it is, isn't it? The keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. This bastard. If I find out he's lied to me. Anything's possible. I actually Shorbin thought the bastard face. was for this guy, because well, I don't trust this luck. guy. And I kind of trust Shorbin more. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. A tracking terminal? Wow, let's just look at all these tracking terminals and a keeper. So let's go do this, this, um, yeah, J Jaleed's fears. You met a scientist. It's, where are we going? Talk to Chorbin. Lower markets. Okay. Let's go to lower markets then. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Where's this going? Is this going to the lower markets? To the wards, but I mean, that's kind of in... That's closer to the lower markets. Batia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. What's this guy about? Hey, I know you. 
You're Shepard, right? Yep. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Um... I thought you were gonna give me a quest, but I, I suppose not. Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. All right. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Mid click the mar here we go the markets this is where we want to go the markets the flux I don't what's the flux new place to go new place to go Discussing with the Volvus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. Just tell me. Get to the point. You know I'm just gonna help you at the but, end anyway. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. I mean, well, she's I probably gonna figure out that I, I told or you told me. The bouncer. Hey, good to see another human. Why did I think you could dance? Like you could dance here. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm waving to someone else. Okay, good for you. What's this? What the hell is this? I don't know, and four to seven. I don't know what this is. I don't want to play anymore. Stop. Alright, can I win? What is this? Payout. No! I don't even know what I just did. Keeper. Oh, what? A suspicious gambling machine? Oh, God, another mission. Alright, we have to go in the market, and I'm heading out of here. I said, I mean, I feel like this is like the 10th time I'm saying that, but I really, I have to meet it eventually, right? People always complain that the wards are too crowded. I never have any problems. Uh, where are the markets? Presidium. Those awards. 
Oh, oh, there's a sign. To the markets and chores den is this way. We're going lower markets. Oh, it must be down here. Oh, there's Chor Chorbin. Commander. What's up, Chorbin? I expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Chorbin. I mean, I wouldn't have been I'm this aggressive with him. To. My experiments are. We're not buying it. Jalid told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. <laughs> what does that mean? Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? Uh, so? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. What does Jalid have to do with this? Why are you trying this? to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I believe that. I should kill both of you idiots. <laughs> we lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? All right, I know, I, I know. Scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him. Right, let's go talk to Jalid. End this mission. Scanning, Commander. Where's Jalid again? I don't remember. Oh, I know. He was at... Oh, where was it? It's one of the last places I, I discovered. No, not, none, not any of these. Was it C's? No, it's not C's. It's, it's by Flux, though, so... Or is it? No, wait. Ugh! I don't remember. I don't remember at all where he is. Let me see if it tells me. He was at the CSAC Academy. All right, fine. Other way. Yep. All right, Jaleed, you have some explaining to do. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Of course. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Yeah, Jaleed. Lying? 
Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Boo! Relax, I'm, I'm helping scanning you. the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Jaleed, 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 well, Jaleed, forget, why so were I. you being such I an asshole? Help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Alright, that's done. And so am I. I'm out of here. Thank you for everyone that's been lurking, hanging out. It's a new day. I'm a VTuber now, so yay! Um, birth by so a re recap of the announcements made earlier today. Number one, it, we start rebirth this weekend. I don't know when exactly this weekend yet, but it will be started this weekend. It'll be the main weekend game, which is um, we'll all have at least one stream on either Saturday or Sunday for a minimum of two hours. We know that next Wednesday, a week from today, we'll start the shorter game. I did not announce what that game is yet. I am actually going between two games for that. Uh, but it will be every Wednesday at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Mass Effect returns in... Not one month exactly. Again, the best way that you can follow me, follow up on the upcoming streams, is on the Instagram account, official RP Jimmy. So, check that out, and I'll catch you next time for, or next month for some more Mass Effect One. And look at this, we have all of these missions. Oops, that's not it. All of these missions that we can now mess around with next month. I'm excited. Later, everyone.